Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. Got another beer review for you tonight. Uh, this is going to be a beer from Rogue. This is going to be their chocolate stout, but it's their nitro version. Pretty cool can. I really like it. Very simple, um, but it's very cool. I don't know. Um, to be honest with you, I cannot tell you. Actually, I can tell you. I was going to say I can't tell you the last time I had a Rogue beer. But I did have Rogue, um, I think it was called Bat Squatch, if I'm not, mistake, not mistaken. That was like a New England style IPA and it was really good. So um, the Chocolate Stout was something I've had very early in my craft beer, uh, you know, craft beer, whatever you want to call it. Like that's one of the first like stouts I had and I really liked it. You know, it, I feel like it was probably a staple beer at one point. Uh, Rogue, you know, I feel like they're one of the OGs. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is the Chocolate Stout Nitro. Um, stout with natural chocolate flavoring added. Uh, and this is, says it's a 13.65 ounce can. I don't know how that, I mean, it looks just like a 16 ouncer. Um, but, or, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, maybe this has to do with the um, uh, the nitro. I guess whatever they put in here for the nitro. And this was actually canned March 19th, so very fresh. Uh, this says chocolate stout nitro is ebony in color, pours a velvety, smooth, and creamy head that cascades into a robust, earthy body, giving way to a rich chocolate truffle finish. Uh, I drink it straight out of the can, or to see the cascade of tiny bubbles, open it. And quickly turn it upside down over a glass. Enjoy the show. So, malty, bitter, rose, chocolate. So they kind of put like a little, almost like a key here, I guess, to show you how um, it's supposed to, you know, taste in those different aspects. Um, anyway, so let's put it untapped. It's rated 3.85 globally. Uh, it says, our twist on a classic chocolate stout is brewed with imported Dutch chocolate for a colossal chocolate flavor. The addition of nitro charge, uh, or the addition of a nitro charge blends the flavors up, creating a smooth, creamy chocolate experience that you'll never want to end. Chocolate stout nitro is ebony in color, and that's where it gets into the can, which we already read. So, uh, let's get into this, man. Um, I'm going to put this here, and we're going to hard pour this, so... Here we go. If you've never seen a, a nitro beer poured, this is this is how you do it. Got to pour it hard. Let me show you here. Watch it. It'll create a head here in a second. I really like how they've been doing these. Some of these breweries will do the nitros out of a can. It's really cool. It's got like a it almost like something that ignites the nitro in the can. I don't know what it's called. But now it's starting to look a little more like a regular beer. The head is generating. Uh, all the bubbles are slowly making their way up top. But I don't know if you can tell on camera, but look at that head. It's like so frothy. It almost looks like coffee. Anyway, yeah, we'll call it right there. Uh, finger worth of head. I really like nitro beers, especially when they come in the form of a stout. And the chocolate stouts are the bomb. So, um, so cool, man. I just, I'm mesmerized by the, the nitro portion. So, um, something to compare it to, I guess, would be, you know, something widely comparable would be, uh, Guinness. Uh, I, as far as I know, Guinness is served in on nitro. So uh, anytime I've been to a restaurant, even had it, you know, it's even as much as like Buffalo Wild Wings, they serve it nitro. So it definitely makes for a really creamy uh, mouthfeel, and uh, just it's a really pleasant experience. So all right, all the head has, all the bubbles have kindly or have made their way up top. Now it just looks very uh, much like a stout. So. Look at that head though. I mean, it's so frothy, just so creamy. So let's get our nose in it. Let's see what this smells like. Holy cow. 
huge, absolute monster chocolate notes. I don't know if it's because I haven't had a stout in a while, but this thing smells killer. I am really, really enjoying that aroma. It's almost got like a uh, Nesquik or like um, hot chocolate type aroma to it. That's all I'm getting. I'm not getting much of the malt. I'm not getting uh, maybe a slight roast. Um, maybe if there's if there's roasted malt in here, um, you know, roasted barley or something like that. That's I'm getting a slight hint of that, but it's it's chocolate for days. That's this, at the forefront of this. It smells fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Cheers. Follows the nose perfectly. Got a little bit of a more milk chocolate on the front of the tongue. And then as you swallow it, you get a little bit more of like a dark chocolate or, you know, a bittersweet chocolate type thing. Um, Mouthfeel, it's nitro. It's creamy. There's no like other way of describing it. It's almost like, I don't know if I'm by myself on this or not, but like, Nitro, sometimes it almost gives you like a flat flavor because the carbonation is not prickly. Um, it's, it's very, very soft and creamy and it almost makes it feel like it's like a flat uh, drink. Or like in this instance, I mean, this is like drinking Nesquik or something like that. Obviously, it's a little different. It's got a little bit of a bitterness to it. It's got that, you know, it's a beer. There was a little bit more info on here. 5.8%. It's pretty cool. I mean, you don't get a lot of stouts at that ABV. Very drinkable. Uh, 69 IBUs and 125 SRM, uh, which is the color. So, pitch black. I mean, I literally, you know, I've got a light right here. I cannot see anything through it. It is completely dark. Motor oil. Guys, this is a fun beer, man. I haven't, you know, I do a lot of IPAs on here. And, um, you know, mainly because that's like what I like to drink. And, you know, I'm not going to just review all kinds of stuff that I don't even care to drink, you know. That's just not how I, my channel is going. That's not how I like to drink my beer. Um, stouts, IPAs, sours. I mean, I love all the three of those things. But, um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't drink them a whole, whole lot. Uh, at least not on the channel, I don't. Um, so this is a nice change of pace, and it's got me like a little bit excited about it. It's just a good beer, um, you know. I I don't know what else to say about it. It's it's chocolatey. It's very very creamy. Um, you know, it, it's an easy drinking beer. It does have a little bit of bitterness on it though. Yeah. Especially on the back of the back of the palate, you get a little bit of that bitterness, like I said, bittersweet chocolate type thing, uh, and it is 65 IBUs or 69, sorry. So yeah, you get a little bit of bitterness, but it, it's nice. It's uh, it definitely helps out with the sweetness and uh, balances out pretty well. So guys, this is a this is a good beer, and you know, I, you know, I know Rogue is not like the sexy beer anymore. You know, it's not super sought after or anything like that, but. Um, you know, it, like I said, I had one of their IPAs not too long ago. Um, I had a lot of their beers early on in my craft beer days, but um, they're still doing some quality stuff, and they they deserve the recognition for it. So, um, you know, I, if you've had this beer, I would love to hear from you. Um, you know, let me know what you think of nitro beers in general, because I'm a, I'm a big fan, I, and I, I've seen it in a few other styles too. Like I've had some nitros that are IPAs. Um, you know, maybe that's what it is, IPAs and um, stouts. But anyway, it's a fun thing. It's just a little bit different. It's a change of pace. Um, gives a, the beer like a whole new, um, you know, aspect to it. And it's, it's fun to experience. Yeah, I'm excited about finishing this one up. So, um, guys, if you've had this beer, uh, like I said, let me know. I would love to hear what you think about it. Uh, or what you think about nitro beers in general. And uh, don't forget, like this video, 
leave a comment and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And we will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.